Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Midnight Castle Succubus. I'm your host, the Darius. Last we left off, I had been grinding. <laughs> I had saved two maidens out of possible 16, and um, we were about to head back to the east to hopefully find where it is that we are going to go next. Let's see. I should be able to just blitz right past the house. It's over here. I believe I've spoken about most of the mechanics that were present in this game already, so don't think I need to go over all of them again, but still. HP to zero for restarting the screen. You can destroy some of these blocks, which makes it so as you can climb. And also, I was, um, I was giving a thought about its naming convention, Midnight Castle Succubus. There is another, um, Metroidvania-style game by the name of Hydra Castle Labyrinth. I think that's kind of where it gets its name inspiration, if that makes any sense. Wow, I could not hit that for the life of me, could I? Let's see. I wonder. Alright. Can't jump up there. Money. Oh, look at the deadly bridge. Surely nothing can go wrong on the deadly bridge. I'm glad that these guys are giving me so much money, though. I'll need it. This whole area is just giving me a shitload of money. I love it. I kind of wish that, this area, that these areas would have, like, names to them. Guess that's just me. Let's see, I can't get up there. So I'm gonna have to destroy shit. Oh, I like that. Ooh, hello. Hello. I'm traveling all over the world in search of treasure. The monsters around here are really strong. Take me with you. I'll tell you when there's treasure nearby. Power throws knives. Shows the location of hidden crowns. Come on. Nope. I got this, I swear. I just want to destroy all of this, see if there's, there's anything in particular. Nope. Oh no, there's a gate. Frick. I suppose I could have used that. Oh, these guys are being hit for three. That's problematic. Heh. <laughs> Now, I don't know if falling in that water is insta-death, but I really don't want to find out. Yeah, I played this game, I think, a grand total of like 70 minutes. Before I had decided, yeah, you know what? Why not? Uh, the caveat to that was that the first 30 or so minutes I had played and then I had um, gone to do something else, I forget what. Uh, let's go back for a second. And didn't realize it does not autosave. So quite literally need to save if you're going to do most anything. And then I was like, you know what? Yeah, fine. Let's, let's check out what the not safe for work version is like. Sure enough, true to its name, not safe for work. Let's see. It's just down? Hmm. That's troublesome. Murder. Murder. 
I really mostly want to see how hard it is to get into and out of this place right here. Yeah. Just gotta make yourself a little hole and then bam. Oh, I see. They do that because getting through this uh, back up is a pain in the ass. Alright. Just had to make sure whether or not that was a point to that or not. Trying to be careful because these guys do hurt. Kind of wish we that maybe there is some additional armor that you can get later on in the game, but I haven't discovered it yet. So, but yeah, the two separate times that I played this, uh, the first time I went down and defeated the armor boss and the the um, watery boss. The second time I went up this way. Do you want to cross? Take care not to fall overboard. And then this shenanigan happens. We're trying to get up there. Uh, oh. Don't think I ever fell down this way before. I only had just managed to do it just fine. Hello. Oh. I'm suddenly rather glad that I failed. Alright. Oh, wait. Is this essentially a super fast way to... Nope. Is this a super fast way to get oh, uh, where I needed to go? No. It is underwater. Which, as I stated before, is bad for our heroine. Alright. I'm going to presume that I just need to get through this area before it melts everything. Cool though. I didn't realize that that thing was uh, where it was. So pretty much I was just worried mostly about that goddamn eye. Now that I destroyed it, I don't think I have to worry about it that much anymore. Yeah, rid of them with scythes. Death would be happy. Quite a moon. Quite a moon. In other words, we go. Eh. Ah, yes, the whole one gold. Total worth. Murder you. Heck. I will say the iframes are really, really, um, generous. So. Honestly, that's fantastic. But I guess they don't want to make you instantaneously angry if you're trying to get into the new area, see new cutscenes, and all that fun stuff. Let's see, we jump onto this. And bam. Oh, nope. I'd like to buy this chain whip. It's heavy and powerful. You know, it's heavy and powerful. I was kind of assuming that it also was going to be harder and to swing or slower or something. But it hits like a goddamn truck. And that's all that matters right now. Eh. I kind of didn't mean to grab the stopwatch. But I think it'll be fine. The stopwatch is 
stops time. In case you didn't get that by the nuance of the fact that it, most of these weapons stop time in these kind of games. Able to kill these guys with two swings. I wonder how many different weapons that there are in this game now that I think about it. Whoop. Mean. Rude. Jerk. Eh. Maybe there's something up here? Nope. Also, one second. Support. Quick saving, just in case something goes wrong. Okay. Back. Back. Okay, so she's quite literally running around and supporting me. That's actually pretty cool. Had not seen these, these uh, supporters in action before. Also, they like to just randomly throw daggers, apparently. Ooh, am I gonna need to put you away for this? Yeah, I think I might. Yeah. Because they do respawn after a time. But... The added frustration of having someone constantly breaking your shit. You know. You know. Maybe once I finally get the heck all the way up here, I'll go ahead and summon her again. Mm -hmm. Those bricks apparently hurt when you, uh, when you're inside of them when they reform. Apparently we're good for this area because we're able to destroy that orb with one swing Which cool I guess This is kind of a longer area now that I think about it Yay healing Yay money Ah. Hmm. I'm gonna say that it probably respawns once I get off of the screen, so. Down. Up. Murder. Murder. I wonder if I'm going to need it. I am I am familiar with what the boss is up here. They're a pretty decent challenge. No right one at that. But oh god. I'm curious. Okay. Game, please. You are mean with this. Oh, scythe. Shoot. Well, I think I just made things harder on myself when it comes to this next area. Whoops. Come on, back down here. Thank you. Also, you do kind of need to press down in order to go up and down those stairs. Behold, our next boss is a couple of harpies. 
Yeah, this is actually going to be a lot harder with, um... Without time stop. Shoot. So the purple one dashes about the screen like a goddamn manic maniac. While this orange one will pretty much just, uh... Chill out at the... where she was. Whoa. Damn it. Ah. They actually do a fair amount of damage too, which is kind of annoying. I wonder just how relatively doable this is with just the um scythe. Because with time stop, you're able to stop them just as they're moving any which way that they're moving and then just get all the free hits. Uh, less so when it comes to this situation where it's all like, oh hey, let's throw the scythes. Okay. Alright, that's the orange one dead. What's the purple one do now that she's dead? Orange one had priorly, uh, when I had first beat them on myself without recording, fired off a lot more manically. Hey, I win. I came all this way up here for a key. <sighs> all right. Save, and I think we just gotta go all the way down? Either down or to that one red part there. Oh yeah, I got my scythe back. Because I was totally, totally missing time stop. I really prefer time stop. I think it's also a situation where, um, I think it might honestly just be easier and a little bit safer just to go down casually, like. Alright, now to just remember where the hell anything was. Eh. A little bit of money. Come on. Get over there. Are there any helms? <laughs> Health would be nice. Well, let's save the next maiden. Hello. We have saved another maiden. I think that, that did not double our HP, but we have since it doubled our HP from when I had um, begun playing this. Which is not bad. Not too shabby. Hello. Not familiar with this area. Village up ahead was destroyed by monsters. There's only ruins left. Oh. I kind of hate those eyes because they always look heh, like they are about to hit you, and then they just don't. Hmm. Pardon the sound of people deciding, hey, need to compensate for what is not in my pants. 
It happens frequently where I live. Money. Murder. There we go. The more and more I'm playing this, the more and more I'm realizing the controls are pretty tight. Most any... Most any of the damage I take is my own damn fault. Ah! Alright, so a village destroyed by monsters. These letters have faded, so I can't read them. This is the most peaceful village in the world. Hmm. I'm immediately suspicious of everything. Ah, yes. The most peaceful village in the world involves houses that have spikes. You shouldn't live here in this town. Food is good, the monsters don't attack. I don't trust any of you. You're all either ghosts or succubus. Haven't heard of one. You're all either ghosts or monsters in disguise. I'm sure this place will last forever more. Uh -huh. Isn't this village beautiful? Seriously, why the hell are there spikes in literally every place? Peaceful village, my butt. So happy every single day. Every single day? Now see, now I know that this is a false place. No one is happy every single day. Your secrets! Give me your secrets. Also, I think I didn't mention- Ugh. I didn't mention it at all. But goddamn, the music in this is pretty damn good too. Can I destroy the statue? I think it's fairly safe to assume that, um... Playing this game, if there was... If there is, in fact, a female figure on the screen, they were probably not clothed. This includes, but is not limited to, statues as well. That statue just turned around to try to kill me. Heck you, suck this. Okay. It's gonna be one of the weirder locales so far. Ooh, hello. Crossbow? Oh! That's like the crossbow from Ghosts and Goblins. Was it the crossbow? I forgot what weapon it was. Point is. Ghosts and goblins. Uh huh. Oh, they reform. Cool. No, I wanted the crossbow. Interesting. Ah, crap. Not quite sure I'm ready to take on whatever the hell's here. Not like boss wise, but like mentally. I might want to go back out and explore the village a little bit more. Mean? I'm sorry, the statue hurts? Alright. I really want to see whether or not the, um... Oh, hello. If the, um... Blah, I can't word. There was one 
uh, one place in the village that was unoccupied and was locked. I want to go there and see whether or not it's unlocked anymore. Not to mention, I think I did miss a secret or two that was back in the village. Creepy old man with his creepy old secrets. Um, you're a zombie. How about some medicine? No. Of all the places I will not accept medicine from, this is top on the list. Well, nothing happened. So it kind of seems like I'm not going to be able to make it back. Let's just say in this place and uh, live like us. Just love the serenity that's all around us. You know, if you don't count that one zombie that was lurking. I'll peek over what's to the... Right here, more of the village. Wait. Oh. Oh. I'm going to go ahead and call an episode here. When we return, I need to escape a village. So thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.